Hi guys, it's been a while. Uh, well, I've had a busy few weeks with my um, friend over. He's actually gone back home today, back to France. Hopefully the um, immigration situation at Calais won't be a problem. So I did see in the news that five trains got held up, the, uh, I think it was this morning, because of um, immigrants swarming the track. Anyway, so hopefully he'll have a smooth journey home. So, what have I been up to for the past three weeks? Quite a lot. Uh, hang on a minute. How's that? Is that better? I'll actually talk to the camera. <laughs> um, we went to Chroma Carnival. Uh, we went to their um, classic American and custom car show on the Sunday. It was actually pretty good. There's some decent, lovely looking motors there um, and trucks, American and British. So, um, yeah, that's quite interesting if you're into um, classic cars. I keep getting a craving for drinking milk lately, and I don't know why. Um, then the next interesting day for the Chroma Carnival, because it goes on for the week, would have been the Wednesday, which is main carnival day, when they have all their activities and their displays up on the main field. Um, they had an aeroplane display, acrobatic display, was there, but it wasn't the Red Arrows. Red Arrows weren't there this year. Was it the White Helmets they were called, I think? Didn't get to see them anyway, we were um, there too late. But I did have a lot of sort of side stalls. There was one um, not far from here, um, Haysborough Owls, they had a stand. And you could hold the owls. Some be they're beautiful birds up close, they really are. Excuse me, I slept then. <laughs> Um, and beside that, there's one with some sort of, I suppose you'd call them exotic pets, snakes, turtles, tortoises, um, some various cockroaches, tarantulas. I'm sweating, because I've just got back from town. <laughs> but wait, this is a dirty t-shirt that I slung on and I was wearing this one yesterday, so that'll do for sweat rag and then I'll change it later. Uh... Yeah, then I had the um, float parade in the evening, which I think lasts roughly about 45 minutes. And, um, well, I put the video up on YouTube. I haven't really watched it myself, so I don't know how well it came out. Um, I do have another one that my friend videoed, and I've got it on the computer, so I might upload that one as well. Um... I think um, the build-up of videos I made prior to my friend's friend arriving was on a good estimate because I've still got a couple of videos left. Although there was a couple of days I didn't upload because I was either busy or too tired. Um, and apart from visiting mums, that's about it. I haven't really done much else. We chilled out here. Or we did go to a place. Um, called Strikers, which is a bowling alley, which is um, part of the, um, I don't know if we'd call it the Rossi's group, or the Rossi's family that owns it in town. So I've got a big swimming pool that you have to have a membership for, and they've got what they call stompers, which is for little kids. Um, sort of like a play area and whatnot for little kids. And then they've got the bowling alley, and they've got pool tables and a bar. It's not a bad place. Um, that gave us something to do for a couple of hours anyway. We played pool. Uh, what else did we do? Well, due to lack of funds really on my part, we um, couldn't really do much. But um, I don't think he minded too much. I think he was just glad to chill out and get away from work 
for three weeks and whatnot. Chocolate cookies are missing from milk. You can't beat milk and cookies. <sighs> right. Um, did do a few things, you know, a few little jobs myself that I had to do, like work on a couple of bikes, because uh, I had six mountain bikes dropped off a couple, literally a couple of days before my friend arrived. Um, so, I don't know if I actually videoed that or not, but those six mountain bikes, I managed to fix at least half. Um, so far, well, there's three of them that weren't worth it, they were just worth parts, but I did the rest. There's two ladies' bikes and a man's bike, mountain bikes. Nothing, you know, super special or anything like that. It's just a Gents Apollo standard mountain bike. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the um, la ladies' one was. There was a rally. That was actually quite nice. Um, which, oddly enough, it took me pretty much just over two weeks to sell the bloody thing, but the lady that bought it actually works over there in the um, Citizens Advice Office. I couldn't believe it. I got the message on Gumtree. She said, I work in North Walsh, I work in the Citizens Advice um, Office. Where the boats are you? So I just replied back, oddly enough, in the block of flats outside. <laughs> so, yeah, she um, bought that one from me. Didn't get what I wanted for it, but I was just no taker, so I had to drop the price. But uh, something's better than nothing, as they say. Something's better than nothing. It didn't cost me anything in the first place, so... Uh, Uh, I will do a separate video on this one. There is a reason the Dell tw uh, Dimension uh, the fair. There is a reason the Dell Dimension 2400 is out. It's no longer running Windows XP. And this <laughs> this is actually thanks to a um, recent UXW Bill video that I watched, where he'd um, installed Windows 2000 on the same machine as this. And I was just thinking, you know, I've got plenty of XP machines, why don't I do something different? So, my old Windows 2000 is still dead because of the motherboard. So I figured, why not just throw Windows 2000 on this? That works perfectly. Works flawlessly, actually. Um, I can't get the unofficial updates to work, so I can't get Firefox and whatnot to work. The, um latest versions of Firefox to work. It is possible, but uh, unless I can get the um, unofficial what's it, the unofficial update roll-up thingy-me-bob to work on it and, and uh, install, then that won't be possible. But it is usable. That just means I can't um, watch videos, like on YouTube, because uh, the Firefox on it isn't supported by YouTube anymore, so, but I can still browse the web, and, I mean, I, uh, recently built a Lego set, and I was actually using that to access peer on, with the monitor up there, so I just had to glance across at the instructions, um, that's about it, oh, actually, my local Roy's store, which is a local, I suppose you could call it a local chain. They've got a few stores dotted around Norfolk. Um, obviously, it's that time of year where a lot of stores will um, start sales and having their sales to get rid of all the summer stuff to bring in all the winter and Christmas stuff. And they've got these on offer. They should have been £3.99, which I think is overpriced for them personally. 
and they dropped them down to half price, so I'm picking these up for one ninety nine. Um, I've got those two there. I've got one over on the table there, and four in the cupboard in the hallway, full of bike parts. All my little bike parts. All my little. Uh, uh, I can't remember what they call them, cable clamp things, they're all in there. So I've reduced the amount of margarine tubs now, which is what I wanted to do, really. Um, well, I could go all out and sort out the nuts and the washers and the bolts, and but I can't be bothered to go that far. So, um, yeah, they're all full of my small fiddly bike parts, pretty much. They stack in there quite nicely, and I haven't got to keep going going backwards and forwards for a separate margarine tub. I can just I'll just go straight to a case, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I'm going to have to contact Victory because I've got a problem with the toilet. Not a huge problem, but um, basically the outlet valve, you know, opens up to flush your toilet is leaking so the uh, inlet that fills up the system um, isn't shutting off so uh, <laughs> it's not too bad at the moment but it will get worse so I don't know whether to leave it for a bit or contact victory like today or something I don't know or something. got a few um, that's the other thing I decided to do I've got all these computers, but I never had any PC games, so um, I've been going around the thrift stores lately finding PC games, and I've got The Sims here, the Deluxe Edition, edition rather. Uh, what else did I get? Blade Runner. Disc 2 is a bit iffy, which is a shame, because I was enjoying playing that game. I haven't done this one yet, it's just a hidden object game. I didn't pay 2 99 for it, though. Lemmings, I've had that for a while. Generals, Command and Conquer Generals, and Blocks, I haven't played that yet. And this one. Well, that one is currently in that one. I've been playing that one, that one. Midtown Madness 2. I thought, you know, I've got all these PCs, but no games. So I thought I might as well um, get some older games to play on the older machines. Uh, that's been my bed for the past three weeks. Has it been comfortable? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. <clears throat> uh, it's leather, so I, what I did is I've got a quilt for a king-size bed, I think. I sort of laid half on the sofa, stuck a pillow on one end, laid on it, and then folded the other half of the quilt over me. So uh, I wouldn't stick to the leather sofa that way. Uh, a few bits and bobs I bought today. I've got the fourth and final one of the singles for the Speed Champions. That'll be up on the LEGO channel later when I do a review. I've got a um, few LEGO videos to do. Uh, I'll just get everything out of the bag. That'll be easier. I've got snack. Yeah. And something else. I didn't really need them, but they were cheap, and let you go with the others I've got. Um, now, that I've, oh, now that I've used Windows 10 for the past three weeks, I can do a video on that, and I will do a separate video on that. Um, basically just walking through a few things and my views on Windows 10. Anyway, I went into my little, um, my little, my local black record shop. Um, he's just he's basically an odds and sods shop but he specialises in arts and crafts and records mostly, hence the name Black Records uh, I did buy these £2 each um, I suppose even though they're in like a second hand shop you still class them as new because they haven't been opened or used at all so that's actually cheaper than buying them off eBay, and I've, I've already got a pair of these. They're good lights, apart from the brackets. They do tend to snap, if you're not careful. <laughs> um, but I think my favourite... Let's get a light on, actually. 
Click. Yeah. My favourite um, thing. I got this out of Lidl's this morning. Um, it's a, basically a, a um, small tool kit. It's got little sockets, screwdriver bits, Torx bits. I don't know if it's got any Allen screw bits. Yes, I believe it has down the bottom here. Um, but the reason I got that, uh, I think it was $7.99. I'll have a look at the receipt in a minute. I can't, can't remember if it was $7.99 or $8.99. I know it wasn't overly expensive. Um, the only sort of pre precision or small screwdrivers I got are these ones. And I, I don't know about anyone else that's used them, but I find it hard to get a grip on the handles and get tight screws out. Whereas this has got the nice big handle I can get hold of. <clears throat> and there's a lot more choice of um, screwdriver bits in here as well. Um, let's have a look at that receipt because I can't remember what that cost. So if you're in the UK, they'll be in your littles now. $7.99, it's called the Mini Toolkit. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put you there for a minute. While I, uh, I, I might not need the knife. No. Won't need the knife. Just break the plastic off. Weather wise, it's just been shit most of the time. I think in the whole three weeks, my friend was here. It was sunny just a few days. Well, it's been sunny more than that. I mean, it's been, it was hot like a proper summer just for a few days here and there. You know, I mean, those few days, few days, them few days were um, sort of spread over <laughs> three weeks. I better drink my milk before that goes to room temperature. I've just got to pop the lid open before I pick the camera up. I need two hands for that. And we're going to get rid of the um, plastic insert, which I'm guessing is put in there just to keep all the bits in place during the transport. There we go. So there we go. Here we've got Torx. Um, we've got screwdriver bits. These are flatheads and Phillips. And um, Phillips and... Yes, we do have Allen screw bits right up to um, four mil. And um, I did a, a tried a, cor um, a course out many years ago for mobile phone repairs, cell phone repairs, and one of the ones that you needed for a Nokia was the T6. And I actually noticed this set actually has one. You used to be a used to um, only be able to buy them from specific suppliers. Um, back then, I'm going back about 2001, 2002, something like that. Um, I'm going to give it up because the course really wasn't for me. <clears throat> Here's a few sockets, says the, says the big handle. It looks like there's an extension rod there as well. Um, oh, it's a flexible one. Whee! Little flexible um, adapter with what looks like a hexagon bit on the end. Anyway, don't think there's much else I can talk about. To be honest, um, yeah, it's been pretty quiet for the past three weeks. Um. I'm tempted to go and get a few more of those, just because they are useful, and I was thinking, so I've got that old tiny container up there, and it was rather tiny and horrible, with all my winches and hoses and whatnot in, but I didn't know whether to get, pardon me, one of those trays, or one of those drawers. Because um, there isn't actually a lot in there, and I think I could fit it all into one of those, to be honest. 
and um, not that there's a lot, there's no price difference. I mean, one of these cost one ninety nine in QDs, and one of those trays cost one ninety nine out of Roy's. So I've still got a fair few up on the shelf, so I may buy some. Oh, and uh, I've been watching something on eBay. Something to do with a collection that I haven't paid much attention to for a while. And that's my barricade lamps. Um, and I spot this because every now and again, I don't like look at eBay every night to see what they've got. I'll just look every now and again if I think about it. Like, you now I could be sitting there and one night thinking, oh, I haven't looked on eBay for barricade lights for a while. I'll have a look. Probably once a week, minimum. Probably this and that. Uh, what it is, it's an EMPCO road lamp. This is, <laughs> this is actually um, in Norwich, in Norwich City, so not too far from me, but still easier to post, as it's free postage anyway. Um, but it is a USA lamp, because EMPCO is um, an American manufacturer. What on earth? He, he's got six of Oh, he's got five available. So one has, or two have been sold now. But when I first saved this, there was um, six available. So someone's bought one, and I don't blame them because um, he's actually selling them quite cheap for what they are. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence, and he's dropped the price twice since I've been watching them. And there's nine watches. Um, my money goes in after midnight tonight, so fingers crossed they don't all sell by then, so I can um, grab one. Because um, that's a is a golden opportunity. Because the only other place I think I'd be able to get anything like that would be buying from the eBay um, American eBay site, which costs an arm and a leg in postage to um, have them shipped over here. So I am watching one that's on the US eBay. I don't know why I did that. I could have just scrolled up. Where is it? Here it is. Um, <laughs> the British price does vary with the exchange rate. I mean, it was £12 something yesterday. It's now £13, <laughs> 2 pence. But the postage is $61.45, which... According to this, in British money, that's forty pounds and ten pence. That's actually quite steep. And I've been watching this for quite a while. Has he got uh, more than ten available, and eight have sold? So, it's an Illinois division of highways. Maybe one day. And then the postage is pretty steep. The light itself is. Not a bad price, but the postage is steep. So, one day, it'd be nice to have something like that in the collection. Especially as I'm in the UK and all I've got is UK lamps. It would be nice to um, find some from other countries. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll have a look at my Lego channel. Still got 82 subscribers on this channel. Share my videos. Tell me what you want. You know, I'm quite, I'm pretty open-minded, and if I can do things that have that um, get suggested, I w probably would do them if I can do them. Um, well, actually, that reminds me. I need a new George Foreman grill. Because <laughs> um, we went to cook a dinner a couple of weeks ago, and uh, as you know, I like to do my sausages and my burgers and my fish fillets and pretty much anything that can be grilled on the George Grill at the corner there. I turned it on, walked away to let it heat up, and usually I hear the thermostat click off when it's done. 
And I'd sat for about 10, 15 minutes and I thought, I haven't heard that George Foreman grill click. So I come through here and the light's still on. So I left it a little while longer, still no click, come back, opened up the grill, the um, hot plates were still stone cold. And then I heard a click when I opened the um, grill up, so I left it open and a little bit of heat did uh, um, generate in the heating plates, but uh, not a lot. So I'm guessing the um, hot plates are gone in it, so I need a new one. But I will take that apart. Just for the fun of taking it apart. No other real reason, just for the fun of taking it apart. <laughs> uh, well, it's supposed to be interesting, see how it works. Interesting video if you're into that sort of thing. Um, you know, I actually thought this video was going to go on for a lot longer than it did, but I really cannot think of anything at the moment. I think I've basically covered everything. Well, I must be getting good at it if I've covered it all in 20, just over 25 minutes. So, um, I'm going to end the video then. Of course, if I think of anything else, I've got other videos lined up I need to make. I can mention it in them. So, as always, I will say thank you for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do try my best to get a video up most days. There might be weekends is usually the time when I don't upload. But um, other than that, there would be mostly daily videos. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.